Pakistan says it started to arrest Afghans as the country begins a nationwide crackdown on foreign nationals it says are in the country illegally. Many millions have fled from Afghanistan to Pakistan over the years, most recently to escape the Taliban takeover in 2021. Well, the Pakistan government says it's following its own rules, but human rights groups like Amnesty International have criticised the policy, which they say leaves some vulnerable groups in grave danger. Well, our Pakistan correspondent Caroline Davies has more from Islamabad. We've already heard that there have been uh, arrests. That's in Karachi and Peshawar. We've already seen footage that the uh, police here have put out of people who are already being deported. You can see them have been loaded up onto coaches uh, and then taken to the border with Afghanistan. Now, journalists are not allowed at the moment today very close to that border. They've put in a boundary line and have stopped people from coming in close to being able to film. So we can't see exactly what is on the ground. But yesterday, uh, me and the team were very very close uh, to that area. We were in Peshawar, uh, which is one of the main roads on the way up to the Torkan border, a big crossing uh, between Pakistan and Afghanistan. And we could see uh, um, lorry upon lorry of people that were traveling uh, from across Pakistan to go to Afghanistan, people who were Afghan nationals who were worried uh, about what might happen to them if they decided to stay in the country. Now, as you mentioned, uh, the Pakistan government has said this is about people who were in the country illegally, but uh, some of the people that we spoke to said that they had got documentation that is considered to be legal documentation, uh, but that they had still faced harassment from the police. Uh, that led them to think that this was the only path that they could take, that they were deciding to leave before they were potentially harassed further or even deported. Now, uh, as I say, the Pakistan government have said that this is not about people who've got official documentation. They've said that they will be aware of people who are particularly vulnerable. But the UNHCR has also talked about some of their concerns of some of the vulnerable groups. A lot of people here who do not have documentation, uh, people who have often come across since 2021 when the Taliban took power in Afghanistan. Uh, we know from Amnesty International that it's been quite slow to get uh, some of those documentation through to get people verified that's happened in Pakistan, that's been difficult for people to get these official documents. And so there are many people who are still scared about going back to Afghanistan and many people who have also decided not to leave uh, Pakistan and to try to stay. The Pakistan police have said that they have been working out where all of those individuals are, whether they're in cities, whether they're in villages, and that they will start that process uh, of deporting people who are here, they say, that don't have the right documents. Caroline Davies there in Islamabad in Pakistan.